concepts of this organism, you understand that I'm going to be talking about a patient that's been brought into the emergency room and obviously has ingested some sort of food that was not handled properly. And now the person is starting to get this double or blurred vision and paralysis. That's when you suspect botulism, right? So you can see that when you get my PowerPoints, you've got to dig through here to find some of the signs and symptoms. I'm not going to use botox, botox injections on your exam. <laughs> okay. All right, back to Clostridium difficile. The name of this disease is called an antibiotic-associated colitis. Some guys will put on the chart AAC. That's what they'll put on there. Okay, this is from the use of broad-spectrum antibacterials for a long period of time. And if you use, for instance, I mean, not macrobid. Uh, let me give you, for example, clindamycin is a broad-spectrum antibiotic. If you use clindamycin for long periods of time, we would never use clindamycin for 90 days. We wouldn't use, I can't even really think of, I can only think of a few antibacterials we would ever use that long. But if you use clindamycin for a long, long, or even ciprofloxacin for 90 days, you do know that you're going to kill all of the flora in the colon, right? Mm -hmm. Except for this one. What is this one now going to do? It's going to overpopulate the colon. When it overpopulates the colon, it's going to end up with, you're going to end up with a diarrhea. And we're going to call this, and by the way, this is a major cause of nosocomial infections, nosocomial diarrhea. Because a lot of patients that are in ICU or patients that are in-house or in skilled nursing facilities, a lot of times are on broad-spectrum antibiotics for long periods of time. I want to talk to you about this diarrhea right here. You ready? I've seen patients that have had diarrhea for, you ready for this? You ready? You ready? Two years. Huh? I've had patients that had to quit their job and basically go on disability. So, because now you can't kill the C. diff, because the C. diff has completely taken over the colon. And what are you going to tell me? Give them antibiotics to kill it? That's what got you there in the first place. Let's talk about two drugs that will kill the organism. The first drug is called flagyl or metronidazole. Anybody know anything about flagyl? I think I tested you on it. Flagyl is an interesting chemical compound because it can be used to kill eukaryotics and prokaryotics. So flagyl would be my first drug of choice. There's only one problem now. Most of the Clostridium difficile that's out there right now is flagyl resistant. So now guess what I have to use? Vancomycin, because vancomycin works for gram-positive organisms. Guess what? Vancomycin won't work here intravenously. It has to work orally. Anybody have any idea how much a course of oral vancomycin costs? Yes. $3,000. And if it doesn't work, you've got to do it again. If it doesn't work, you've got to do it again. If it doesn't work, you've got to do it again. And a lot of insurance companies will not cover oral banco. So this is a very, very difficult